There's always solutions in weird places, like in mushrooms. I want to take the trash out of the ocean and translate that into a surfboard. In the fall of 2021, I applied for the change grant with my then research partner, and we got that on the prompt that we're making just a surfboard core out of eco-friendly materials. I tried using all these different types of trash, but then I was like, this is physically impossible <laughs> to make a surfboard out of actual garbage because it could never be replicated. It was pretty soon we found what we would actually be using. In the simplest way, mycelium is the roots of mushrooms. It's kind of web-like and it grows under the ground. And the root system is the strong, like heat resistant, slightly waterproof to a degree <laughs> material that is being used right now to replace a lot of styrofoam packaging substitutes. We've tried layering it to try to get it to grow through and stronger, but that didn't work. The research for us took so long because there were so many factors we had to figure out. Mushrooms are being used to replace leather and flooring and furniture. And those all feel completely different and they act completely different. And that's based on what strain you use and how you grow it and what you mix it with. And our big thing is that we have to be shapeable because I'm a surfboard shaper. If I don't have a blank or a core that I can shape, and what am I? <laughs> this is something that's been tried before and hasn't worked out every time. I'm confident in how my product's going so far. That 10 years ago, people probably thought they couldn't replicate styrofoam. It's at its best and more people should be looking for those solutions because, you know, we need it. The world needs it. <laughs> I'm just going to be happy as long as this gets solved. <laughs>